What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to optimize your Discord streams so that they don't stutter and lag as much. Oftentimes, you'll drop frames. You'll see one frame every couple of seconds in a Discord stream, whether you're streaming it or a friend streaming it, while you're playing a resource-hungry game, or even a weirder glitch where your PC seems to be doing fine, but you seem to get this weird sort of stuttering effect between time. You'll watch say three seconds, and suddenly you'll see a couple of frames from two seconds back, and it does a sort of beep, 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 uh, weird glitch effect. Super strange, no idea how to explain it, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyways, how do we fix stuttery streams in Discord and or improve them for better FPS? Well, there's a couple of ways of doing this, and the most obvious of them is if you're playing super resource-hungry games, the games are probably getting your resources before Discord. The absolute simplest thing to do is right-click Discord in your start bar, quit it, and when you locate the icon on your start menu or desktop, right-click, hover over more, and click run as administrator. By doing so, Discord will then have access to all of these resources before games. That way it can take what it needs and you may drop a couple of frames in your game. You'll maybe go from 60 to 50 or so, or 100 to 95 but at least your Discord stream will be running smoothly. Obviously, on top of that, if you haven't already, it's a good idea to try and drop the quality. So if I join a voice chat, click on share screen, then pick any window, you'll obviously have resolution options and frame rate options. If you're not using Discord Nitro, well, you're already as low as I would comfortably go, 720p 30. Oftentimes, if you have Nitro, you'll try and stream at 1080 or source and 60fps, though, jokes on you, you're paying for a service that isn't always there and working properly. Don't worry, I'm also a sucker who pays for Discord Nitro, expecting to be able to use the source or 1080p, and it looks just as blocky as 720. Maybe it's just my region, whatever, that is how it is for me. So streaming at anything above 720.30 oftentimes will lead to extra resource draw, and it won't really help your stream at all. Dropping that to 720.30, if you're Nitro, is something that can help. On top of this, if you're playing, say, a resource-hungry game that's eating more of your GPU than your CPU, your CPU is sitting there practically dormant, we can get Discord to encode video using our CPU instead of the already maxed out GPU. Oftentimes, this is what you'll experience in AAA games where they completely demolish your graphics card and leave your CPU mostly untouched. Click user settings in the bottom left, head across to voice and video, and scroll down here until you see video settings, further down advanced, finally video codec. Simply turn off Open H.264 here, and it'll also disable hardware acceleration. Upon restarting Discord, I'm not too sure if that's necessary, when you start your stream again, or maybe even while you're streaming, I restart Discord completely just to make sure, it'll now encode using your CPU instead of your GPU. Oftentimes, I find that when I have hardware acceleration on, my Discord streams are more blocky, but they're more smooth. When I have it off, they're more crisp and clean, but you'll notice more frame stuttering. That's at least on my laptop, with a 1050 and a rather mediocre processor. That's also where I get that weird time jumping issue. Anyways, turning off hardware acceleration here can help. Of course, you can have Open H.264 on and turn off hardware acceleration for slightly different results. Of course, it'll take some experimenting to see how good it can get. Honestly, the biggest difference comes from running it as admin, so that it gets more of your system resources, and these two options here are where you can choose between higher quality or higher frame rate. Higher frame rate with hardware acceleration on, usually if you have an NVIDIA or AMD graphics card. Every other setting here has basically no effect. Finally, down at Advanced, we have the Advanced settings for Discord, including hardware acceleration. Basically, Discord runs in a web browser, Chrome. Chrome uses your GPU to accelerate how things look, fancy animations, etc. If you turn off hardware acceleration here, Discord will no longer use your GPU for those effects. On top of this, you can disable hardware acceleration in other programs such as Steam, and you'll claw back a tiny bit of performance from all of those applications, which will eventually add up to a noticeable difference, not only in in-game FPS in GPU-bound games, but also if you're trying to stream and you're getting bad stuttering. Obviously, if you haven't already, try closing as many background programs and applications as possible, and that should help too. On top of this, if you have a browser open, oftentimes on a lower powered computer, if you're watching a YouTube video or Twitch live stream and it's doing video decoding, 
and trying to do video encoding for your stream, that does oftentimes lead to a lot of lag. Anyways, there's a couple of solutions for your Discord streaming woes. I wish you the crispiest of pixels and the highest of FPS. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.